This Battlefield Report will cover the events of the Second Intergalactic War from April 14th to April 20th. We go first to the Automaton Front, where last week the invasion of the new Automaton fleet had been stalled at the Menkent Line. Multiple attacks against Menkent were launched, but Helldivers hated General Brash's major order, and the line held strong long enough for Seaf engineers and civilian laborers to construct rudimentary orbital defenses in the Menkent and Lasath systems. Sensing a prolonged campaign, Super Earth High Command established a forward command base on Vernon Wells, providing fresh recruits and supplies to the new automaton front but the attack was far from over. On Tuesday, a new major order was issued by General Brash to hold back a renewed offensive against our left flank, consisting primarily of Marfark. Loss of the planet would open up a clear route through Aesir Pass to Vernon Wells and jeopardize the security of the entire Hydra sector and thus the entire front. And the automatons had yet another surprise up their sleeves. The return of the Factory Striders. Grotesque, brutishly engineered monstrosities not seen since the waning days of Operation Swift disassembly in the Severin sector, where the Titanic robots made their first, albeit limited, appearance. This time, the Striders were deployed in force, stressing the resolve and combat capabilities of the Helldivers. General Brash was quick to develop his latest Brash tactic, a strategy to bring these eyesores down most efficiently. The top cannon can be removed first with orbital strikes, high explosives, or even hell pods. The gun turrets under the chin are easily removed with armor-penetrating weapons, and once the offensive capability of the unit has been neutralized, the bot can be decommissioned with ease. The weakest point is the red eye on the head. It might be a small target, but it can instantly kill the entire machine. Any Helldivers with Battlefield experience are encouraged to leave their strategies in the comments below. Given the new threat posed by the Factory Striders, High Command has issued new missions to Helldivers to target them specifically. Despite their mass production and widespread implementation, expedient destruction of the machines will slowly bleed the Automaton War Machine dry. Despite the new challenges, Marfark was fully secured by Wednesday. The Automatons had committed most of their reserves to this failed attack, and both sides, exhausted by attrition, began to slow down their combat operations. In the Lakal sector, a tenuous foothold was present on Chuha, Court Bay, and Penta, and in the Andromeda sector, small-scale operations were ongoing on Matar Bay, but most of the fighting was taking place on Martal, and the situation would remain static like this for the next several days. By this time, the heroic defense against the Automaton Offensive had depleted all reserves of Element 710, and supply was running dangerously low. So while the Automatons geared up for their next major offensive, General Brash issued the vast majority of Helldivers to redeploy to the Terminid Front. His order? Kill 2 billion bugs and refill the Element 710 reserves for the planned counteroffensive to retake Cyberstan. Six days were given to complete the task, but Helldivers were so enthusiastic to take a vacation from the bot front that the job was done in merely 14 hours. That's 39,683 bugs killed per second. Sea forces would be busy over the next several days refining the bug biomass into Element 710 and the refinery pipelines were reportedly pumping at full capacity by Friday. In the process, Helldivers managed to push the bugs off Astanu, out of 4E Prime, through Osha Une, and all the way to Omicron, until things took an unexpected and dire turn for the worse. On Friday, the bugs launched a counteroffensive on Osha Une and Astanu. Astanu was defended, but despite a rapid redeployment to Osha Une, the defense there was lost on Saturday morning, and the bugs quickly struck at 4E Prime next, before re-engaging at Astanu. And simultaneously, the automatons renewed their own offensive, days earlier than anticipated, with the most likely goal being to conquer the Hydra sector and cripple the Western Front. General Brash issued yet another major order on Friday to hold steady in the face of this intense automaton assault and extract the highest possible toll from the enemy with every planet seated. The goal was to successfully defend 10 planets, and dozens of key battles will take place here over the coming week with the Emir, Trigon, Tsar, Nanos, Hydra, Marspira, and Talus sectors all facing the threat of imminent invasion if the defense falters. And Helldivers were off to a rough start as the automatons first attacked at Lasath, Marfark, and Charon Prime, and all three planets succumbed to invasion on Saturday. Access to Penta was lost, supply to Martal was cut off, and even with over 90% of the planets secure, an evacuation had to be ordered. 
planet was surrendered. Mayasso was targeted next, and a brazen assault was made directly onto Vernon Wells, where the organization of a hasty defense is well underway. But the week ahead will be a bloody test of will as fighting is ongoing on a total of eight planets on the Western Front, with many more invasions anticipated in the very near future. But amidst the flames of conflict that rage across countless worlds, the automatons cannot extinguish the spirit of perseverance that burns within us. In these dark times, it is in the crucible of adversity that heroes are forged and the indomitable strength of Super Earth is revealed. Together, we shall endure, rise, and ultimately prevail, for history honors those who dare to confront the shadows and emerge victorious into the dawn of a new era. Would you like to know more? 